This battle occurred on the 45 km front alongside the Somme River. The Canadians faced the Germans' barbed wire guns and other artillery. Overall, it was a great loss for the Canadians, with over 24,000 brave Canadian soldiers who had lost their lives. The Canadians, however, learned valuable lessons and came up with new tactics for success at future battles. All four Canadian divisions stepped in to take the German stronghold of Vimy Ridge after the British and the French failed to do so. The Canadians learned valuable lessons from the Battle of Somme and came up with new tactics such as the Creeping Barrage. After three days of fighting, the ridge was conquered by the Canadians. There were about 10,000 casualties in total. After conquering the ridge, the soldiers who had once referred to themselves as British were now identifying as being proud Canadians. A memorial at the site of the battle was also built, which is dedicated to the 3,500 Canadian soldiers who had lost their lives. The Great Depression in Canada began on the infamous day known as Black Tuesday, which was when the stock market crashed. People around the nation were financially devastated. Soon many were unemployed. People struggled to pay for food and used tokens to go to soup kitchens. Also at this time, the Bennett buggy became a common way of traveling. Many men rode the rods desperate to find any job. Overall, Canada suffered greatly over the 10 years, but the Canadians pushed towards recovery and the economy hasn't experienced the Great Depression since. Throughout the 1930s, the Canadian prairies suffered devastating weather conditions. They faced bitter cold winters that reached temperatures of negative 40 degrees. The summers were very hot and there were dozens of dust storms. Crops then failed to grow. Then in 1938, the worst grasshopper blizzard hit the prairies, causing a further destruction in crops. Farmers were frustrated, but they had hope in Canadian land. The weather conditions went back to normal by 1939. Canadian women were given a greater role in World War II. They could join the Canadian Women Army Corps as a way to serve. Many worked in munition factories or served through the Red Cross. This set a tone for women's freedoms and rights in Canada because before these jobs would have been strictly meant for men. The Juneau Beach Battle was one of the most successful Normandy battles. The Canadians faced intense artillery from German defenses, but the Canadian soldiers had extraordinary military skills and courage and took over the beach by the end of the day. There were 1,074 Canadian casualties in total. Many Canadians served in this proxy war alongside 16 other countries who were a part of the United Nations. The Korean War remains Canada's third over the sea conflict, taking the lives of 560 noble Canadians and wounding over 1,200. <laughs>